I think we had a very crucial juncture when it comes to technology being a fundamental platform for change in our organization and for the industry. So in terms of optimization, in terms of modeling, in terms of debottlenecking, all of these kinds of software that we are now introducing in NGC. And we are looking at changing out our system to the cloud, getting real-time data, digital boardrooms, you know, those kinds of things are now uh, transforming our business. In keeping with NGC's push to utilize technology in our day-to-day -day business, the Geospatial Information Services Department acquired a drone in 2016 and we utilize the drone for our day-to-day -day activities. Some of the benefits uh, derived from using drone technology within NGC is uh, significant cost savings to the group um, uh, because alternatively we would have purchased this service from external service providers. It would um, it benefited our workflows uh, in projects um, for the construction of new pipelines and facilities. Um, it would have allowed us to do animations and simulations of proposed pipeline projects. Um, these animations can be viewed intelligently using 3D uh, uh, virtual reality goggles and can also be displayed um, at project meetings to assist project engineers in developing new projects. There are three stages in the creation of a virtual reality simulation of a project. The first stage is data acquisition, where the drone will capture uh, 3D data uh, of the proposed project site. The second step in this process is data review, where we perform a quality check on the data that was acquired by the drone. third stage is data processing where we use integrated software to convert this aerial data into intelligent point clouds. And the final stage is where the point clouds are converted into a virtual reality animation of the proposed project. Beyond drones, the Geospatial Information Services Department is looking at high definition 3D scanning aerial light detection and ranging, and 3D mapping and printing. We have moved away already from sort of using planet metering and charts, I mean, we are now integrating all our data points in SCADA and Flocal and trying to optimize real time all the pressures in the system. So that, that is um, certainly transforming our business.